Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. So today's video might end up disappointing some of you, but I'm filming it anyway. So I have mentioned a few times on my channel what animals I'm actually interested in owning, but I still get a few comments that are like, please can you get a guinea pig? Or when are you gonna get a hamster? So I'm making this video today to tell you some of the animals I won't be owning and I don't want to own and the reasons why. So I hate to disappoint, but there are a lot of animals that I'm just not interested in. In fact, I think there's more animals that I don't want to own than there is on my list of animals I do want to own. And I think my list of animals I am interested in owning is probably a lot smaller than some other people's. And just as a side note, don't tell a pet YouTuber to get a specific animal just so they can make care videos for you. Because any responsible person is only ever going to get the pets they already plan and intend on getting, so telling someone to get guinea pigs for example, and to make videos on guinea pigs, isn't going to solve anything because someone's only ever going to get the pets they want to get, and there is plenty of other people on this platform making amazing videos about their pets, and everyone has a different variety of different animals, so there's always going to be something for you if you're looking for a specific video, but don't go asking someone to get a specific animal just so they can help you care for that same animal too. So, I'm not saying any of these animals on this list make particularly bad pets, I'm just saying that I'm not really interested in them, or I don't think they're the right pet for me. Also, I just wanted to say, if I do end up getting any of these animals on this list, in the future, don't hold me to it. Either my circumstances have changed and I'm able to get these animals, or I've just changed my mind, but I don't think I will end up getting any of the animals on this list, so we are pretty safe, but if I do miraculously end up with one of these animals in the future, don't hold me to it. So obviously all of the pets I am going to mention are traditional pets, they're not going to be like crazy exotic animals like monkeys or tigers, obviously things that most general people wouldn't want to keep anyway. I'm not going to bother mentioning them, but like also I don't want to own them either. So let's start with mammals. What are the mammals that I probably don't want to own? Seeing as my channel is based around small mammals, I thought this would be a good place to start. So the first one on this list I probably won't end up owning again is rabbits. So a lot of you don't actually know this about me and you do ask me if I want to get rabbits. I have had rabbits for pretty much my whole entire life. I was born into a house that had rabbits and we've had rabbits up until a few months ago so for 22 years of my life on and off I have had rabbits in my life. And I think I've come to the conclusion that I don't really want to get any more rabbits again. They are a lot of work and I really appreciate anyone that has rabbits because they do take a lot of time and effort but I just don't think I'll ever have a big enough house to dedicate the amount of space I would want to and need to dedicate to rabbits. I want them to have their own separate room and I just can't ever see myself having a house big enough to give them their own room on top of the fact that we already live in quite a small house so I can't ever see myself having rabbits again. I would want them to be indoor rabbits and I just can't see that happening so rabbits are probably off the cards. Again similar to that I don't really have any interest in guinea pigs. I think they're cute but I've just never had any interest in actually owning them. I've always been more of like a rabbit person but again guinea pigs I can't ever see myself having the space for them and I'm just not really that interested in them. The next small pet that I really can't ever see myself owning again is gerbils. So again when I was younger I decided to get gerbils and this was back before I knew not to use pet stores to get animals from. I was very young and maybe I'll make a whole entire video about this one day but cut a long story short I was sold to male gerbils and I ended up with about 20 gerbils so I've had my fair share of gerbils in my life and I don't want any more. Also having owned rats and also mice and comparing them to the gerbils I had before, I just don't really enjoy them as much as I enjoy rats and mice, so obviously those two are going to take priority over having gerbils again. I just don't find them that fun to interact with, they're not as personable and as easy to tame as say rats and mice, so that is why I don't want any more gerbils. The next small mammal I can't really see myself owning is pygmy hedgehogs. So fun fact, before I got my rats I was heavily researching into having a hedgehog and then I researched rats and changed my mind and decided to have rats instead. And looking back I'm really glad I made that decision because I just don't think hedgehogs are the right pet for me. So I have a few friends who... oh there's a hair. 
So I have a few friends who have pygmy hedgehogs and seeing how much they poop and the consistency of their poop completely puts me off them. I'm sorry to anyone that has hedgehogs out there but I just don't think I could deal with their poo on a daily basis. Having a very small pet room as it is, I just couldn't see myself having to deal with that so the poo is the main factor that puts me off but also the fact that they're not really that sociable. In general, hedgehogs can be a bit on and off when it comes to taming and how they react to you and that's just a hedgehog thing and personally that's not what I want in a pet. I do enjoy interacting with my animals so that is the reason that I probably won't ever get a pygmy hedgehog. The next one I have been asked about a few times is Daegu's and again I'm just not that interested in owning them. So in my mind I kind of categorise them as well as gerbils that they're just a bit too high energy for me and I'm not really that interested in having them. And also I think they are fairly new to the pet trade compared to some other animals like rats and mice that have a wide variety of different colours and patterns. Daegu's I find don't come in any real patterns or colours that I'm interested in. So that is the reason that I don't want to own Daegu's in the future. Hey, Sprout, get off him. So moving on to reptiles and amphibians, obviously my most recent pet was Orbit and I am interested in a few other species of reptiles and amphibians, but there are a few that I'm just not that interested in or I don't want to own for specific reasons. So the first one, and this probably doesn't come as a surprise to many of you, I don't want to own any snake that requires to be fed on rodents. So I love snakes, I love other people's snakes, I love meeting them, I love seeing pictures of them. I have nothing against snakes whatsoever. And I did actually work in a reptile store for a short period of time, and I did actually have to feed the snakes rodents. This doesn't bother me, that's not the aspect of it that bothers me. Snakes need to eat, that's just a thing of life, and that part of it really doesn't bother me. However, personally, I just can't bring myself to have a snake that eats rodents. I don't support, as you know, rodent mills, and most of the feeder rights you get to feed your snakes are unfortunately bred in these horrible conditions and mass produced, so I don't support that when it comes to buying my rats as pets, and I couldn't support that buying them as food either. So that's just where I stand personally with owning snakes. I love snakes, and I get quite a few snake owners on my channel, which automatically go into the delete section of the comments because they're trying to be funny making jokes about oh my snake would love to eat your rat and I'm like I like snakes you're not getting to me at all I like snakes snakes need to eat you're not funny so I think for me I'd rather have the hundreds thousands I'm not sure how many it would be rats and mice that snake would have to eat in its entire lifespan I'd rather own all of those rats and mice and that one snake so that's kind of where I stand on owning a snake that has to eat rodents as its main diet. The next reptile I have on my list is a bearded dragon. I don't really know why I put it on the list, I'm just not really that interested in owning them. I think when it comes to lizards, I'm more interested in like the smoother looking lizards like leopard geckos. I've just never really had too much of an interest in owning a bearded dragon. And again, they do take up quite a bit of space for their like vivarium, so Beta dragons aren't really on my list of pets to have, don't really have any reasons why I wouldn't want to own one, I just don't. So, the next thing on my list is Pac-Man Frog, and I love frogs, I'm absolutely obsessed with frogs, and I can't wait for the day that I'm able to have a frog of my own, but it's not going to be a Pac-Man Frog. So don't come for me, I know a lot of people have a Pac-Man Frog as a pet, but personally I do find them a bit boring, they just sit in their little hole in the soil and they don't really do too much unless you're feeding them which does look cool but I'm just not interested in having a little frog that just like sits in the dirt for most of its life that's just not really what I'm into so Pac-Man frogs I'm probably not going to get one. So the last thing I have for my list of like reptiles and amphibians is crested geckos. Now I'm going to sound completely ignorant when I say this, but all crested geckos kind of look the same to me. Um, I was talking to one of my friends about this and she also feels the same, but to me all the morphs of crested geckos, I don't really find them that like interesting. In terms of leopard geckos, I find all of the morphs they come in so fascinating and I would be interested in owning a few different morphs, but when it comes to crested geckos, they all kind of just look the same to me, so 
not really interested in having a crested gecko. The only morph I do find interesting is Dalmatian crested gecko, so don't hold me to that. Maybe I'll end up with a Dalmatian crested gecko in the future, but in terms of crested geckos in general, I just don't find them that interesting. So, the next thing on my list, I feel like a massive hypocrite because I have pets that are usually very feared in the general public. I have rats and I have mice and when someone says they're scared of them, I just... Sprout. I'm trying to better your reputation, stop making noises. I own pets that are generally feared by the public. I have rats and I have mice and a lot of people are really scared of them. And when people tell me that, having met my rats and mice, I just can't see it anymore. I can't relate to them because there really isn't anything to be scared of when it comes to my rats and mice. So I do feel like a bit of a hypocrite for saying this, but I can't ever own a spider. I have an irrational fear of spiders and it's ridiculous because I love animals as a whole. I appreciate what they all do for the ecosystem. But I just can't deal with spiders, like if there's a spider in the house, I just have to leave the room, let it do its thing, let it move on, but I just can't deal with spiders, so definitely won't ever be only one as a pet, that's for sure. It is so hot in here, I have to shut the windows when I film, otherwise you're going to hear all of the children outside that scream. And speaking of children, that is another pet that I have no interest in having. <laughs> So probably the biggest no-no for me on this list and the one that I am most sure about, unless I managed to get a house that had loads and loads of space and loads of room, I can't ever see myself having birds or more specifically having a parrot or anything, any bird that lets out a really loud high-pitched noise. I just can't deal with it. I have really sensitive ears and to me I categorise parrots in the same category as I do screaming children and they are also a no-no for me, so I love parrots, I think they're amazing and they're so intelligent, but I just couldn't ever see myself owning one because I would get so annoyed with how loud they scream sometimes, and I just can't cope. I find it really hard to be in the room with a parrot, even when you go to like the zoo and you go into like the aviary section, as soon as the parrots start making noises, I just have to leave. I don't know if my ears are like more sensitive than other people's, but I just can't cope with it, so you won't ever see me having a parrot or any other type of loud bird anytime soon. I am interested in other birds that are more quiet, so ducks and things like that, I am definitely interested in some bird species, but definitely not the species you think of when you think of having a pet bird. Definitely not a parrot or anything like that. So to end this video on probably the most controversial topic possible that I could put into this video is dogs. Now I love dogs, I love meeting any breed of dog on the street, it literally makes my day if I meet a dog outside, but there are definitely some breeds of dogs I just can't get behind owning. As with most animals really, there are some breeds or some varieties that I just can't see myself supporting, I can't bring myself to support them, and dogs are no different really, there are a lot of breeds of dogs that I don't personally support, and I definitely wouldn't want to own them. So the main one for me when it comes to dogs is any brachycephalic breed, so pugs, boxers, any dog that has a shortened head and therefore a shortened nose, I just personally wouldn't want to own them. So I know in recent years pugs have become increasingly popular and everyone thinks they're really cute but I'm more of a golden retriever kind of girl, you know? But with pugs I just find it so hard to look past the fact that they struggle to breathe, they have issues with their eyes, all of that I just can't ever see myself supporting that and getting behind that and also having to deal with those issues for the dog's entire life. I just can't see myself ever owning a brachycephalic breed and having to deal with all of the issues that comes with that. So yeah, that was just a few animals I can't really ever see myself owning in the future. I'm sure I could go on much more of a tangent and list so many more other animals, but those are just a few. And the next time someone comments on one of my videos saying, please can you get some guinea pigs, I can just link them to this video. So I know this was a bit different, but I hope you still enjoyed this video anyway. Make sure you are subscribed to see any future animal related videos from us, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye!